Hi there, Sarah here from Scattered Pictures Art and I have a new project to share with you. I've made some vintage winter altered file folders with traveler's notebook inserts and these will be available in my Etsy. Last time I made a couple and they sold really quickly so I made four this time. So hopefully anybody who'd like one can grab one. So I'll just show you um, each folder and then I'll flip through one of the traveler's notebooks because they're all very similar. So this is the front of this one and I've layered up some Edith Holden, scrapbook paper, vintage music paper, some lace, this one has some beautiful aqua rosettes and pom-pom trim and a little bling. And then once I'd layered the papers I did a little bit of whitewashing with some gesso just to give it a more wintry look. Each folder has its own handmade beaded charm and that's just on a paper clip with a lobster clasp so you can take that off and do what you'd like with it. Each of the folders also comes with a large tag with a flashcard inspired by Mrs. Cog. And then the back of each tag is a, a Franken tag. So I love the Franken tags. And then there's a, a large altered playing card. So we've got paper doll, again some vintage music paper, scrapbook paper, Edith Holden, um, whitewashing with the gesso, and then some lace and pom-pom trim on the top. And there's also an altered envelope. So this is embossed and it's rubbed with some um, pearl wax and some gold wax around the edge here. There's some beaded sequined trim and I hand sewed on this round button which is really cool. Some mesh and then the flap of the envelopes all have one of these corner pieces on them. And there is a coffee dyed index card in each envelope. So this one will be called Skate. I'll just name them by whatever the flashcard is in their tag. Okay. Here's the second one. So there's its charm. So they all have a little snowflake and different beads, white rosette trim, a navy blue lace bow, there's layered up lace and cheesecloth and bling and vintage music paper, Edith Holden, again the white washing. And I'll show you where. So this one will be called Frosty. Here's its altered card. And on this altered envelope, there's some sari, lace, uh, a large navy button that I've hand sewn on, um, some more lace. It's also embossed. I did not put the gold around the outside of this, it's just embossed with um, the dots and then rubbed with the pearl. But it does have the corner piece. And again, a coffee dyed index card in there. And the Traveler's Notebook covers all have the same image as on the folder. So this is the third one. There's its charm. Again, we've got the bow, some little rosettes, pom pom trim. Edith Holden, music paper and lace. This one will be called Sparkle. There's its altered playing card. And its envelope. The layered up sari and lace button and in the index card. And then its cover. And the last one. Added a pearl swirl down here. 
the rosette. There's its charm. Again, layered Edith Holden, scrap of paper, music paper, and lace. So this one will be called Ice. Snowman on that tag, isn't that cute? There's its altered playing card. And it's envelope with the beaded trim again and the mesh embossing. And then again, it's Traveler's Notebook has the same photo as the file folder. So I will just flip through one of the Traveler's Notebooks for you. So we'll do the, the first one here. So all the Traveler's Notebooks, with the exception of the scrap of paper on the cover and in the middle, have the same essential papers. Um, so they have um, the scrap of paper sewn onto cream colored card. Uh, they all have the book corners and the pom pom trim on the front and back and then the image layered with some coffee dyed paper and cheesecloth. Okay. So we'll just go inside. Just get these out of the way. There we go. So we've got a little tuck on the front with coffee dyed tag that this book belongs to. The inside of the cover um, are stamped and the ones with the aqua rosettes have some light aqua dot stamping. Uh, the others just have the script stamp. That's my favorite script stamp from Creative Embellishments. Okay. A doily, some coffee dyed polka dot paper. Uh, this is manila drawing paper and I've uh, made a little tuck with the flashcards. These flashcards are available on my um, Facebook artist page for as a free download. So if you would like those, I'll include a link below and you can pop over. And then we've got snow and shovel and white and all the little journaling, journaling cards are on cream card stock so they're nice and firm some notebook paper Edith Holden Manila drawing paper all the traveler's notebooks have a lace flip sewn in on coffee dyed paper and we've got a bag with a little tag, the sewn image, some vintage ledger paper, tracing paper. Uh, this is from a reproduction of a vintage Sears catalog and I picked pages with stoves on them because I thought stove warm me up in winter. Some graph paper coffee dyed. This is the center of the signature with some more scrapbook paper journaling card on cream cardstock and a large tag with some white eyelash trim. And I didn't put charms in the center um, just because these were getting a little thick and I wouldn't have been able to fit it in the folder. Uh, flip with a little tab. Tracing paper. The Vintage ledger with another journaling card paper clipped on. Other side of the bag with the journaling card on cardstock. Coffee dyed paper. This is the manila drawing paper with a guest check, coffee dyed, sewn onto some cream cardstock, and then I've added an eyelet and a bulb pin with some matching trim. Other side of the Edith Holden notebook paper. cream cardstock with the flashcards, polka dot paper, the other side of the doily, and the back of each uh, Traveler's Notebook has a library pocket. Okay. So, this one is Skate. 
and this one is frosty so I'll just quickly show you and then the center this one is what did I call this one sparkle And this one is ice. Cute tag. So those will be available in my Etsy probably by the time this video is uploaded. So pop on over if you're interested. And if you'd like to download uh, the flashcards, they are a free download on my artist page. So uh, I'll include a link for that below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.